Meanwhile, the Haryana Chief Minister has hit back. The Haryana Chief Minister has made a strong statement against the AAP government and he said, to solve the drinking water problem in Delhi, we had given our share of water to them as well. And today when disaster struck, they started to do politics over it. I do not indulge in such cheap politics and no one from Haryana is so small-minded. Uh, so we're going to try and get some reaction from the ground. But the main uh, blame game which is going on is that our Admi Party government in Delhi is blaming Haryana, the neighbourhood, and saying that it is because of the water which was released by the Hatti Kut Baraj in Haryana into Delhi is the reason why, for this unprecedented flood which has taken place. Why is it that this water was not released into, say, Uttar Pradesh? And so in this also, the Delhi government is sniffing a conspiracy that here the BJP governments are targeting the non-BJP governments. Strong rebuttal there from the Haryana chief minister who makes it very clear that this is not a time to indulge in this kind of a politics. All that the Haryana government had done was to provide drinking water to Delhi. But even in that, the Ahmadbi party government is finding a conspiracy. And this is something to use the words of the chief minister of Haryana. I don't indulge in politics. Nikhil is now joining us uh, uh, on, on this detail. So Nikhil... Is there going to be any respite for the people of Delhi? Is the drinking water situation better? But clearly the Haryana chief minister is not going to be accepting that blame game. Well, uh, there were three of the water treatment plants which were affected because of the excessive uh, Yamuna water which has flooded some part of the capital city and because of the same 25% of the water distribution and the supply of the same was impacted in the capital city but out of the three, two have already started functioning, uh, one being the Chandrawal water treatment plant and another one being the Okhla one uh, which has been started uh, yesterday. So, other one which is the Wazirabad it needs to be restored at the earliest. So, as of now, uh, you know, Majorly, the water supply which were impacted since last few days, it is on the way of improvement. But as far as the details are concerned, uh, this was something which was being alleged by the leaders of the Aam Army Party, especially Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, that Haryana is one such state which is responsible for the Yamuna water. But now, for the very first time, the retaliation has come out from Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khatta, where he has uh, said in a statement that when the Delhiite, uh, in fact, the Delhi government, uh, they were in need of the drinking water at that time, we provided them with water. But now, at the time, when the floods have uh, reported in the capital city, they are blaming the state of Haryana, especially Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khatta. But even uh, if Arvind Kejriwal asked for the water uh, from the Haryana, he would have asked for the drinking water, not for the flood water, because lakhs of QSECs have been released by the Haryana government. But not just the Chief Minister of Haryana. In fact, there are other leaders as well from the Bharti Janta Party, be it uh, Gautam Gambhir, who is a member of parliament. He has also said that... Uh, Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Army Party government should tell us as to how much money has been spent on the advertisements because no money is seen which has been spent on the infrastructure. There is another statement which has come out from the Union Minister of Sports, Anurag Thakur, where he has said that whenever the Delhi faces any of the trouble, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is the first one to run away from all the responsibilities. So this is the kind of situation which we are seeing in the capital city. But yeah. talking more about the overall situation, uh, there has been a decline in the overall mark as far as the Yamuna River is concerned, close to 2005 uh, to be very precise, is somewhere that the water levels have reached. But the IMD has been saying continuously that uh, next three to four days are very much important because there has been a prediction of rainfall, not just in the capital city, Pallavi, but also there is rainfall prediction from the IMD side in the state of Himachal and the state of Uttarakhand as well, which means if excessive rainfalls, uh, rainfall uh, takes place in these places, then gradually it is going to add on to the trouble to the problem of the capital city which is currently uh, being faced by many of the residents but so far there are civil line area there is uh, other area as well be it the Bela Road monastery where the water level has completely declined and the uh, further restoration work is currently underway but Redford, ITO and uh, Rajgat these are some of the places including that of Yamuna Bazaar which are still impacted the most which also tells us as to how sorry the picture is and yeah. how but the Nikhil, agencies now the, the bigger worry is going to be the health concern now the bigger worry is going to be the health concern because once the water starts receding there's always going to be worry of infections illness so on and so forth has that been also taken care of are our hospitals well equipped to deal with it in case of this kind of a casualty 
Well, uh, as per the details, and this is something which we have been experiencing in yes. person as well because we have been going in that particular water. Now the drain water is also mixed with the water which is coming in all the way from River Yamuna. We have also been advised from our offices too that we have to also report if there is any of the skin infection. And believe me, Pallavi, all those reporters who had gone inside the water, gradually they are reporting some kind of skin infection. So you can imagine the kind of situation which the Delhiites are uh, you know, going to see, especially those areas, the residents of those areas who are impacted the most, be it the uh, people who are living at the low-lying area, Yamuna Bazar and the nearby places who were impacted in the very first place. But as far as the hospitals are concerned, there has been no official report as to how prepared or what is the action plan from the government side uh, uh, to curtail this kind of problem. But there were uh, some of the hospitals which reported the water logging which were near to the civil lines area. But now the water has been removed, but the government uh, should come out and tell us as to what exactly the situation is, even as far as the preparedness of the hospitals for the same is concerned. Yes,